Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and uh, today I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make a global chat message system in Roblox Studio. So let's say you have only like a one player game and you want anything sent to be sent to everyone in any server. Well yeah, that's what I will be teaching all of you today. Surprisingly it only takes two scripts with about only 20 lines of code. So uh, let's get right into it. So uh, first to replicate a storage, you're going to want to insert a rope event, and we're going to call it chat, okay? You're just going to want to insert it like that. So this will help, like, when the server when, when the server receives it, it will send it to the uh, client. So we're just going to have a local script here in starter GUI, okay? And we're going to call it chat. So here's what we are going to type. We're going to type game dot replicate storage dot chat dot on client event connect function message or msg okay so then we're gonna do game dot starter gui set core now chat make system message okay everything capital like the capital first of words comma after the thing after the uh the like speech bubble text okay and then before the parentheses ends, do a squiggly bracket, just like that, and then just keep pressing enter. So as you can see, I'll zoom in. Okay, as you can see, we have this here, and then we have we have those two there. Okay, and let's unzoom. Okay. Okay, so this will let us uh, create a chat message, okay? So now we're just going to do text equals to message, and then uh, a semicolon, okay? Next, we're going to do font equals to enum.font dot sources stands bold, which is like the default chat thing. Color equals to color3 dot new 255 comma 255 comma 255 so uh, we know that it's from a different server and then font size equals to enum dot font size dot size 14 since that's also the font size and then uh, we have a bunch of semicolons there okay so that's the chat script we need one final script and everything is gonna be tied together okay so here we're gonna call this a uh, global chat handler, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna do local messaging service equals to game get service messaging service. Messaging service is the thing that allows every server to communicate to each other. So here we're gonna do messaging service subscribe async. Okay, now you have to type this really carefully. Global chat. Okay, just capital G capital C. Okay comma function and then parentheses message and then we can press enter okay so uh, we'll do that later first uh, we're gonna do down here game dot players dot player added connect function player okay player dot chatted connect function message so the chat message so first we're gonna have to filter if we want to send it so we're gonna do local filtered chat message equals to game get service chat filter string for broadcast okay filter string for broadcast message comma player so it filters the message based on the player like their age and stuff like that okay so now we're gonna do local final message here equals to so we're just gonna do a speech roll uh, left close bracket dot dot player dot name so like it looks real dot dot and then close right bracket just like this so it looks like realistic uh, and then here we're also gonna do a, a colon okay and then dot dot no it and also we're gonna add a space here dot dot filter chat message so it looks like normal and then we're gonna do messaging service Publish this thing, so we publish it to it. Same thing, we're gonna write go global chat, so both of these pair up, okay? Comma, we're gonna do player.name, okay? So we're gonna do the player.name, so 
when it goes to the server, it's gonna check if the player is in the server, and if it is, it's not gonna do it because everyone in the server will already get it. Okay, so we'll do player dot name dot dot. So uh, here we're gonna be we're gonna do string dot split over here with the message. So in chat you can type anything. So we can if we were to use space, uh, it wouldn't work because then it would divide the thing into a bunch of pieces. So use something that uh, players normally wouldn't type. So I'll just do. Okay, I'll just do string separator, but like with the wonky characters Just like that you can do anything just make sure it's nothing a player types like no one's gonna type that okay dot dot Final message so it sends the player name the separator and then the final message So now we're here messaging service subscriber sync so it gets it right so we're gonna do local split message for player equals to string dot split message dot data and then comma the string separator so it gets the player's name and then gets the final message which we put here okay so now we're gonna do if not game dot players find for child uh, message dot data okay comma Oh uh, no, if not give up our first child, split string for uh split 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 message for player, uh two straight brackets one. So it gets the first split thing, right? It gets the first thing which is the player's name. Then so it's if it's not in the game, then game dot okay storage dot chat fire all clients split message for player two. So see how this is the first one and then this is the second one and then so and then this is the split so it will get the player name. If it's not there then we'll do the second one. The second part of the thing, uh, string which is the final message. Okay? So uh, I'm gonna publish this in a one player server and uh, let's see if it works. Okay guys as you can see I published this as global chat messages and I'm now getting into the game and I'm gonna join on my alt account with my phone so I'll just join on my phone waiting for this one to get in let's wait for it to get in let me get in okay as you can see I'm in the game now I'm gonna join on my alt account join oh wait I'm just gonna quickly okay global message I'll press play on my phone uh, I don't think you can see it but as you can see I'm the only person in this server and I'm gonna start typing so first I'll type here, okay, uh, I'll just screenshot that I got it. So uh, it got tagged on the other end because I don't, I think that account has safe chat so it's going to get tagged, but if I type like, hello, something like that, it will, so I'll just take a screenshot on my phone and I'll upload that to the video. So you can see that. So now if I type on my account, my alt account, hello. As you can see, it pops up right there. And if I, uh, if I type something like that, something like that, it will just tag out. Okay, it's not the best chat system. So it might tag like cursors like damn or something like that. Even though if you have safe chat or something like that, so that's something to be aware of. But anything else, uh, it won't. Okay. So uh, the model is in the description. The model will be in the description. And uh, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye.